is, as you guys know, I share my experiences of living with autism. I also give my two cents on what's going on with autism in the media. The third area entails providing tips and advice for those of you who are on the spectrum. I also reach out to your friends, family members, peers, mentors, educators, lawyers, and anybody who is inside the um, autistic community. And finally, I will cover topics on things that I'm passionate about. And yes, I am planning on creating a Um, someone else by the name of Casey Neistat and then as I said before yesterday was um, female film Friday and I just I saw it promoted by YouTube with a bunch of hashtags so I decided to get back at it and uh, promote my blog some more uh, what I normally do is um, I post every Sunday and Monday so please be sure to check those out and um, also be sure if you like what I'm talking about, be sure to subscribe and share me among your friends, your family members, your peers, and your mentors. Anyway, I wanted to talk about something um, as I am uh, on transit on my way from um, my home to um, Saturday service. And um, I wanted to mention that, um, as you guys heard in my last video, there was a man that was mad at me because I was blogging. He was sleep. He was sleeping. Well, this was a self advocate um, that used a wheelchair, and um, he he's somebody that had a chip on their shoulder. And I wanted to uh, talk about that. Um, there are people on the spectrum and people with various um, human detour systems, like that man, who just um, they believe they're broken and they need to be fixed. And they believe that the world owes them a living because they're disabled and they basically just sit there and they play the victim and they learn to take their frustrations out on those of us that are willing to quote push the envelope um, I got that from watching the other sister last night which was an old movie from uh, the very late 90s with um, Giovanni Ripsey and Juliette Lewis and uh, it's about two people with human detour systems, but um, most people would call them um, adults with physical, developmental, or intellectual disabilities. And one of them was uh, already living out on his own, and uh, he had some things that he struggled with. But his girlfriend was a character that um, she, uh, lived with an overly protective mother and you know, the rest of her family that believed in her, wanted to support her, and how uh, this character Carla learns how to move forward. And so um, Diane Keaton put it out very nicely that uh, Carla, the character, Juliette Lewis's character, was trying to push the envelope. She's trying to go to school. She met a boyfriend. She uh, wanted to live with him and uh, she eventually wanted to get married and then there was some other stuff. And um, going back to what I was talking about earlier, there are people that um, get mad at you because you, sure, you have a quote disability, but you don't let it define you. And they sit there and they have um, temper tantrums, they sit and whine about how um, we live in fantasy worlds. Like, I had an, an ex-friend that was so hung up on having a disability that uh, she would just uh, get mad and get offended every single time she would hear Temple Grandin talking about uh, neurodiversity and special talents. And she had this downer attitude like, well, what? Well, they're people with severe disabilities. They can't do what she's talking about. And uh, I just wanted to mention that those kinds of people that have that attitude, they're playing the, yes, they're angry, but they're playing the victim and they're trying to make everybody else around them miserable. And if you're a self-advocate and you're somebody that, um, that wants to, um, again, push the envelope or or do, uh, believe in the, hey, the sky's the limit. You can do anything you put your mind to attitude. You have to decide. Um, 
you can either get mad and fight back at these people, or you can ignore them, not let what they have to say get to you, and uh, you can move on with your life. Because um, how are you ever going to um, accomplish something when you're going around fighting with um, people with, quote, disabilities or people that, that are willing to trash themselves and people that have low self-esteem that are just so focused on their deficits and the things that they, quote, can't do or because they're so frail, like, oh, I can't do it. I'll never go to college. Um, you are never going to accomplish what you originally set yourself out to do. So, and uh, so today in that other video, as you saw, there's someone that stood up for me and he told me to just keep doing what I'm doing because there's not a lot of people that have the confidence. So I'm going to take um, this guy's uh, information and I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing. I mean, I'm not a people pleaser. So even if other people try to make me feel bad about myself, like that last uh, individual who thought he was broken and needed to be fixed and because he was miserable, he had to make me feel that way. So, but anyway, I'm out of time. If you like what I'm doing, be sure to give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'm Maya Sendermeyer and I'm signing off.